I did it! I trained Radar to present the trophy! <laughs> <laughs> There's a fire at Dillis' shop! Ooh, ooh. There's a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe as well! We have two emergencies! A fire at the Cut Price store and a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe! Sam, you and Elvis deal with the shop. Penny and I will head for the cafe! Right, sir! Fire. So first, I'm going to turn off the power. Petition means no trophy. Well, there is someone who should get a trophy, and the winner is Elvis for being the best dog trainer in Ponty Pandy. <laughs> Sam, Penny, it's Good Blood. Something's happened to him on the road back from Newtown. Very strange. Did either of you see what happened to Mike? He went that way. He was being chased by a giant snowball. What? Mike could be down there, injured and freezing. We have to get to him, and fast. But that slope is too dangerous for Jupiter to drive down, Sam. You're right, Penny. Only one thing for it. I need a blanket, a rope, a warm drink, and your snowboard, Norman Price. Have you out? 
Dinner at the whole fish cafe. Oh, Trevor, I'd love to. No, I, I, I meant dinner with Norman for Mother's Day. That's all right. I can have dinner with Mum any day. <laughs> Here comes your supper, Mum. Mmm, that smells lovely, Bronwyn. I'm not the cook tonight, Helen. I'm putting my feet up. <laughs> So you have to put up with my cooking and the help of my two lovely assistants. Hello, Dillis. Where's Norman? Oh, well, he wanted to go skateboarding. But look what he made me for Mother's Day. What is it? It looks like a bottle top nailed to a piece of wood. James, don't be rude. It's a candle holder. I hope you don't mind if I use it, Bronwyn. No, Dillis, of course not. Not at all. Oh. Oh. Mother's Day is rubbish. All my friends are busy with their mums, and skateboarding's kind of boring on your own. Thank you for inviting me out, Trevor. This was a lovely idea. A candle at dinner. Oops! Sorry! Ah! Ah! Careful, Dillis! Oh, fire! Okay, everybody, stay calm. We all need to move out of the restaurant. Fire at the Who Fish Cafe? Tom a call. Good idea, Sam. Pity we don't have Cridlington here. We could use all the help we can get. Oh, where's that bus? Sure, James. Oh, I see you've got Sam's name on here, too. Yeah. Well, he does save people every day. And he gets to drive around in Jupiter. Still, no more of that for you, eh? Uh, no, I suppose not. Sam, stop! What's the emergency? There's some trees on fire in the forest. We're worried it might spread. Oh, it sounds serious. Maybe I should come along and help. Well, what about your TV show? Uh, uh, I'm a fireman first, remember? Wow! 
It's Fireman Sam. And here comes Tom. Cool. Everybody okay? I'm feeling a bit weak. A uh, sandwich might help. Oh, not now, Norman. I guess it's too late to get to your TV show now. Not if you go by a helicopter. Jump in, Elvis! Wow! Fantastic! Just like a real superstar! Elvis! Wait! Don't forget this! Good luck! We'll all be watching you! Thanks! I'll be back on duty tomorrow morning! It's a scarlet crested waggle warbler. Don't move, Norman. Oh no! Mike Flood set fire to his kitchen. There's a fire in the flood house. We can do care. They're all out in Jupiter. Um. So I'm just like a real fireman now, thanks to my radio. There it goes again. I'm not sure you should be listening. Can you hear me? Mike Flood's kitchen is on fire. You need to get there as fast as you can. We're on our way, sir. Fireman James to the rescue! But James! Station officer steel. I'm safely outside now. Oh, that's good. Just don't re-enter the building. It could be very dangerous. Oh, Mike, have you seen James? No, Sarah. Ah! Ah! I'm trapped. He's in the house. He's he's where? Oh no. Um, oh, oh, don't worry. He's fine and Sam. He'll know what to do. What? No time to lose! James! Where are you? I'm in the living room! I can't find my way out! Elvis, switch the electricity off. I'll get James! Take my hand, James. I'll lead you out. And the fire's out, too. Thanks, Sam. I'm never going to listen to my walkie-talkie again. Ah, so that's how you always beat us to the rescues. It was picking up our radio signals. I'm sorry, but I really wanted to be a fireman just like you. But I don't think I do anymore. Now, don't be hasty, James. A brave lad like you could be a very good fireman one day. Could I? Yes. You just need proper training first. Maybe in the meantime, you can help out down at the fire station. Yeah! And I'll teach you the proper way to use the radio. Station officer Steele calling Elvis Millington. Millington? Hello? Oh, that's the radio for me. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some Christmas lights and a CD player and... <gasps> Get a wiggle on! I thought you'd have it up by now. Norman, these things take time. We'll soon see about that. Hey, let go! Uh, give it here! Oh. Oh. Well done, Norman Price. Well, this wouldn't have happened if you weren't such a slow coach, pants. That's it! You can put it up on your own. You meanie. Fine. Go then. We 
don't need your help, do we, Wooly? Wooly? Uh. Smells like burning. <gasps> oh, no! The cake! Oh, Norman! I'd better call Fireman Sam. In the flood kitchen. Ooh. Kitchen fire at the flood's house. Action stations, everyone. Right. Now, where am I going to plug this in? Uh... Uh... It's the oven, Sam! A cake's caught a light! Don't worry, Mike. We'll take care of it. It's an electrical fire, Elvis. We need to cut the power first, over there. Right, oh, Sam. OK, Sam. Well, I think we can safely say that the cake is baked, Elvis. Oh, no! Mum's cake! My kitchen? You should never leave a hot oven unattended. But I set the timer on the cooker. Well, you obviously set it for too long. Oh, sorry. It's my fault too, Sam. I should have made sure he set the timer correctly. But what about my mum's surprise party? I got it so wrong. I was rotten to Mandy and Sarah. I wanted it to be so perfect, you see. Look, we've still got time if you'll let us help you. I just want to get down! Ah! Ah! It's no good. Tom's not at the rescue centre. I can see his helicopter over by the fire station. I know. Um, oh! Got an idea? No, Norman. I've had enough of your ideas. I'm going to do my idea this time. Well, hurry up. My arms are aching. I'm going to fly an SOS message all the way to Ponty Pandy. But you're not allowed to fly the plane in Ponty Pandy. But this is an emergency, Norman. I don't want to be in the air anymore. What are we going to do? Emergency situations call for emergency measures. Elvis, remember Dolly. She needs you to rescue her. Oh, Dolly, of course. I forgot all about her. Um, OK, Sam, Elvis to the rescue. Here I come, Dolly. Uh, e easy does it. What's that? Great fires of London! That'll be James Jones's plane again! <gasps> OK, Sam. It's all right, Dolly. I'll make sure you're safe first. Don't get off! <laughs> gotcha. Well done, Elvis! Oh, hey, there's a note. Oh, dear. James and Norman are stuck up a tree. We'd better get Tom to get you down quickly, Elvis. Penny, you man the station. I'd like to give James his plane back personally. Norman, 
Shall we rescue them the same way we rescued Dolly? Not this time, Elvis. We need to rescue Norman quickly. Then James, you bring the top wall in, and I'll bring the ladder. <laughs> no problem, Sam. Hurry! I can't hold on for much longer. Just let go, Norman. We'll catch you. Uh, whoa! Oh! Oh! You baked my Norman in a cake? Oh. No! I made the cake oh. out of wood! What? Oh. It was supposed to be a... Oh, oh forget it. It's stuck. Let me out! Dennis, wake up! Oh, stick this! Shall I pop the party poppers now? They smell smoke. So do I! Oh no! I forgot to turn off the oil! Evacuate! Quick everyone! Head to the door! Abandon cake! I'll call Fireman Sam! What's going on? Oh no! My lord, it's stuck in that cake! Don't worry, Gillis! I'll push the cake out! We will now demonstrate the procedure for extricating someone's foot from half a bucket of muscles. Ready, Norris? I certainly am. Excellent. <coughs> um, I, I, I actually can't get the A fire at the Whole Fish Cafe and Norman Price is trapped in a giant cake? A fire at the Whole Fish Cafe, and Norman Price is trapped inside a giant cake! My Norman! My poor Norman! Mike's still in there trying to get Norman out! Stand back, everybody! Oh dear. Come on, Norman. Let's get you out of here. Are you the one millionth customer, Sam? Oh, my little Norman. Oh, I can't believe I didn't keep an eye on the fryer. You were very brave, Sam. And Penny. So was Mike. He tried his best to get Norman out of that cave. Is everyone all right? Yes, sir. But you missed Firefighter Morris executing a very unusual rescue, sir. I had to rescue Norman Price from a giant cake. Oh, I don't think we can top that, can we, sir? What about rescuing a chief fire officer's foot from half a bucket of muscles? Hmm. That should do it. Now, hold still. What? <laughs> and I've got it! I've got it! Yes? yes? No, no, it's gone again. person pulled a really scary face. Will the Fog of Doom actually come into the story at any point, Norman? What? This is so boring. It's the scariest story ever. Oh no, look, it's the Fog of Doom. Don't be silly, James. That's not fog, that's smoke. Oh, and it's coming from my sandwich. I know what I am! It'll have to wait, I'm afraid, sir. There's a fire at the Flood's house. There's a fire at the Flood's house! What are you all doing out of bed? <laughs> it's in the kitchen, Sam! 
Penny. You shut off the electricity. OK, Sam. I'll make sure everyone's all right. Air, 100%. I put too much in the toaster and then forgot about it, Sam. Well, I hope you've learned that a toaster can be a very dangerous thing if you don't use it properly. I have, Sam. Oh, I, uh, just found these cuddly sheep pyjamas on that hedge over there. Oh, they're not mine! Well, they seem to have your name in them, Norman. Who's got the big baby pyjamas now? <laughs> cuddly sheep? That's even too babyish for me! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, that was the worst sleepover ever! Oh, wait, I've got it. Am I a pair of trousers? <laughs> you are, sir. <laughs> you are. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for Fireman Sam. Cause he's gonna save the day Fireman Sam Cause he's 